Hey you guys, it's image consultant JC DeCalis and today we're going to be talking about four ways that you can glow up naturally. So we're going to be talking about all the natural options that are available to you and going into detail why they are effective. You can listen to this video while you're doing other work. So go do laundry, dishes while it plays in the background. Let's begin. Number one, eyebrows. Eyebrows are one of the top ways that humans can identify gender. It's ideal for males to have thick, straight, dense eyebrows, and it's ideal for women to have slightly arched eyebrows that have a little bit of thinness to them, but not too thin. Now, if we were going to be talking about masculinity or femininity, uh, you can have feminine eyebrows as a male, but you got to make sure that you have a combination of other masculine features to balance it out. Cristiano Ronaldo is a perfect example of, you know, someone that has a little bit more feminine, well-groomed eyebrows, but then he has a very masculine face to balance it out. And so it's all about understanding the combination. With this celebrity, I wanted to give you a variety of different types of looks and how they have an impact on the face. So first I took away the density of the eyebrows and then I arched the eyebrows and then I took them away completely. But you can see he looks a little bit uh, masculine because he has the facial hair but if we were to take away the facial hair completely all of a sudden he looks extremely androgynous now if we're going to be just talking about eyebrows in general in order to thicken them up a little bit you can thicken them up by using minoxil minoxil can definitely help and then you can also get your barber to shape them up you do not want to have very messy eyebrows for women don't over pluck them don't over wax them because if you do that then you'll potentially lose your hair and it won't grow back. So don't go into any kind of trends, guys, if you're making them overly groomed. Try to keep your hair as much as possible when it comes to your eyebrow hair and just shape it up a little bit. If you have blonde eyebrows, I would recommend tinting your eyebrows, making them a little bit darker to add that density. Sometimes when you have blonde hair, that can blend in with the rest of your skin tone. Now, uh, this is all non-cosmetic. When I say cosmetic, I mean anything that's dealing with needles, anything that's dealing with under the knife. These are things that you can definitely do, even a brow pencil. Brow pencil, I don't consider technically cosmetic because it's not a needle and it's not a knife. So, brow pencil, minoxidil, and then on top of that, eyebrow tinting. Number two, having a unique hairstyle. Your hair is a great way of showing your personality, your individuality, and also sometimes hair is a representation of youth and your culture. There's so many different types of hairstyles they can do, not just a simple haircut, really embracing your hair texture, whether you have curly hair, whether you have you know straight hair, there is a wide a variety of different styles that you can basically you know bring to the table and hair is one of the greatest ways of where you can really put in your personality and who you are as an individual now you can get a normal haircut if you wanted to you know where you just get a simple fade or something like that or you can make it really unique and for the people that are average looking and even if you were to fully glow up with your face, you still are more or less slightly above average, maybe just average. I would highly recommend you find a unique hairstyle. You find an artistic hairstyle that is so specific to you that if we were to black out your face, if we were to black out your face and only see the hair, people would recognize who it is. That's how artistic and unique you should try to strive for your hairstyle to be. Now, you could do a buzz cut, 100%. You can still look good with a buzz cut, but you really got to figure out what you want and if you want that kind of uniqueness to that area. Now, what's the right hairstyle that fits your face? There's a lot of different factors that come into play for that. So, if you're a girl and you're trying to create a more feminine type of look, we obviously want a little bit longer hair. If you're an older woman, we definitely want longer hair because we want to bring back that youthful type of look. You cannot necessarily do short hair if you're a woman and you have very masculine features because then that will make your face look a little bit too masculine. If you're a guy and you're trying to consider long hair, I would highly recommend you make sure that you have enough masculine features to balance it out. There's a difference between Jason Momoa having long hair because he has very masculine facial features versus someone that has more of an androgynous face and them having very long hair because all of a sudden that makes their face look too 
feminine if you're trying to attract the opposite gender. So think about these factors. There's other factors like you having possibly a larger forehead. If you have a larger forehead, we would want to balance that out a little bit. So these are all the different factors that you have to think about when choosing the right type of hair. Now, if you want to dye your hair, that's definitely something you can go down the road, whether you're a guy or a girl. It's just identifying what do you think is right for you. I definitely think that people that want to experiment with different colors definitely do it. Um, you know, and just try it out and see what works for you. Number three, leaning out, not becoming skinny, but leaning out and losing, most importantly, facial fat. Now, you can't spot reduce fat. Just to let you guys know, I know a lot of, you know, TikTokers are saying that you can do different exercises, but you can't spot reduce fat. You're going to have to be leaning out all over. The body leans out differently depending on the person. However, however, identify how many calories you're taking in. Uh, definitely exercise, lift, do resistance weight training. Resistance weight training can definitely help because not only are you burning more calories, because I think a lot of people think it's just about burning the calories, but there's also chemicals that are released in your body, testosterone, um, high amounts of testosterone in your body that's released while you're exercising. This is so crucial, absolutely crucial. It's actually even more important while you're still developing during your puberty years of your life. For women, doing squats, hip exercises, things like that will definitely have a very big impact, but you have to make sure that you are doing these things consistently on a regular basis. And as you can see right here, I'm giving you a couple of different examples of how the face dramatically change when you lean out. You should lean out to about 10% for men and about 22% for women. Body fat percentages is a little bit different because women hold body fat a little bit differently than men. Some of you actually have really decent jaw lines, but you're just not lean and you just haven't really been able to see what your jawline looks like because you've never actually been 10% body fat or 22% body fat. So how long does it usually take for my clients to lose a significant amount of weight? It really depends on how far you are. Some people are about 100 pounds off from their goal and that might take anywhere from six months to a year. Most likely a year depends on your dedication and some people might take only about three months. It depends on if you're just trying to get a summer body and you're a little bit closer, maybe about 20% body fat, and you're trying to get down to 10%. So you have to figure out exactly what you're eating, the types of exercises that we can possibly do that will be effective to getting the body that you want. And you wanna make sure that you're not dramatically cutting your calories because you don't wanna have a lot of loose skin and you don't wanna lose a lot more muscle. You wanna keep as much muscle as possible. Message me on WhatsApp if you need help from an image consultant. I'll go over your face, your voice, your demeanor, your style. I'll augment your photos. And then we basically work on a plan together of what you can do to possibly glow up. Now the fourth option for men and women is a little bit different and I'm gonna explain why. So it would be thickening the neck for guys and exposing the collarbone or clavicle for women. So for thickening the neck that can add masculinity to an overall face, I'm going to show you a couple of different examples of how just a thick neck can dramatically change the way that your face is perceived. If you guys do not have the widest of jaw lines and you want to add a little bit more masculinity to your face, thickening your neck by doing direct neck workouts will definitely be beneficial for you. Do not try to do any neck workouts or do not try to do any secondary workouts expecting that your neck is going to get thicker. You have to do direct exercises. Be sure you do proper warm-ups before you do neck exercises because you have to make sure you're not going to be straining any muscles when you do these types of intense exercises on that area. Now for women, if you are trying to expose the collarbone, that is usually a sign of health. And this is why this is a great way that you can use necklaces to accentuate your collarbone in that area. So hopefully all of these tips are able to help you guys. If you want to see more long form content, definitely check out my other videos. Take care, guys.